Then you get to zoom out. Oh, uh, okay. Alright, so yeah, it's, uh, it's just me, Shane. I've uh, decided to make a big drastic change in my life. I've done a bunch of research and I've decided to get a gastric sleeve. And at this point, I don't even know if I'm going to post this. Uh, I'm kind of nervous. It's something I've thought about for a long time. I've had a couple of health issues, which I don't really tell people a lot about. Uh, every now and then I wake up and can't breathe. I get um, like a larynx spasm and stuff because I'll get like some acid reflux and everything. And my current weight is around 340. And tomorrow I start a pre-op diet for getting the sleeve and I've decided to go with the sleeve over the, the bypass because you lose weight a little bit slower so it'll give me a little bit more time to adjust but once I have it done my diet's going to have to totally change from anything I've ever done in the past but you know everybody I've talked to about it thinks it's a good thing for me I went to my primary physician I talked to them about it and they thought it would put years on my life. You know, if they'd have said, eh, I don't know, you're not quite in the the right, um, I mean, you're heavy, but I don't think you're that heavy, I'd have really thought twice about even doing it. But since they were like, oh, yeah, you definitely should probably do it, then I was like, well, if, if I'm that out of shape, then, yeah, I guess I should. And, I mean, I'm not going on this light hard. I've done my research and all that kind of stuff, and... The other thing about it is I'm actually having it done in Mexico, which I know a lot of people are like, oh, Mexico and everything. Well, you know what? It's 17 grand to do it here in the United States because even though it's better for people, health insurance doesn't want to cover it. But over there, it's a whole lot less expensive and the place I'm going with has a very reputable, you know, reputation. Their doctors are really good. I've done my research, so... Um, I guess here's to the start and seeing how it goes. And like I said, I weighed today and I was, you know, well, my weight's always up and down, 340, 338.5, something like that. But, you know, I'm about to do a two-week pre-op diet. So we'll see how much I can get down in the next two weeks before I actually head out and go have it done. So I'll uh, keep making videos and maybe one day I'll post this and maybe it'll be a... Uh, inspiration to other people that might think about having it done and if not I'll at least have it for my own records peace all right so I started the pre-op diet a bunch of protein shakes it's gonna be a little tough but I can eat a lot of greens uh, protein shakes some lean uh, meat like four ounces so Going into the second day, uh, first, first day was really tough. This day is still tough, but I'm hoping by uh, let's see what's today. Today's Wednesday, so I hope by Saturday I'm really getting used to it. Two weeks, two weeks till I go. So um, I'll take a when I step on the scale later. I'll, I'll actually put down my weight, but pretty much my starting weight's 340. Uh, back a couple months ago, I was up to 348. I was able to knock it down, but I've been fluxing between 335, 340 since then. So I'm pretty much saying my starting weight is 340, but it's not just about that. It's um, it's going to be just losing this whole front that I have here. Let me, I'll show you what what I'm what I'm working with here. So just hold on. All right. So you see, I get to see the side. I do not like the side view here, so I'm hoping, you know, just kind of slim this right through here, so I at least am a, am a straight shape versus a, a curvy fella. So, anyways, so like I said, I don't know if I'll ever post this, but I want to do it to, to be able to look back on anyways. So I can't say at least I tried. So, oh, hold on.
Yep, and there's Bella. There's Miss Bella. She always wants to see what I'm up to. Yeah. Well, now there's some other folks around, so she's looking what they're up to. So, anyways, later. Oasis Hospital in Tijuana, Mexico. They've done my x-rays and taken my blood. I'm in the hospital gown, so I'm just waiting on the, uh, the next steps there. So hopefully everything will go pretty good. So fingers crossed. All right. Hey, so I'm awake. Uh, I have surgery, it hurts a little bit, like right here, and stuff, uh, I got a really dry mouth, but I just want to let know everybody, I'm, I'm out, and, uh, recovering, but my phone's at like 12%, uh, when I get to feel a little better, I'll charge it in. And whatnot, but for now I'm doing okay. Just like I said, it hurts a little bit right here. I think it's probably gas. And, uh, yeah, probably, probably that. And just real dry mouth, but I made it through okay. So I'll uh, talk to y'all later when I can. I hope everybody's doing good and love you all. Okay. Bye -bye. Hey, what's up, y'all? I know uh, most y'all ain't gonna see this live right now, but I've just got checked into the hotel in my room. It's a pretty nice hotel room here. You can check it out. Ah, uh, so checked into the hotel. Everything appears to be going. Pretty good. Uh, I catch my flight at one San Diego time tomorrow and touch down at eight Atlanta time. So uh, I'm only having like small sips of stuff, but I'd be able to drink a little bit more as everything heals up. So for the first week or so, it's just clear liquid like chicken broth, that kind of stuff, and then. I'll go to protein shakes and things like uh, soft foods like mashed potatoes and then eventually add lean protein and all that kind of stuff back in. But just wanted to let everybody know I'm doing pretty good and I'll see y'all soon. All right, just a quick uh, live video letting y'all know I'm back in Atlanta looking like uh, I'm about to rob a train, but back in Atlanta waiting for... Uh, Clay James to pick me up because he was nice enough to decide to pick me up from the airport, which I really appreciate. So, just uh, I'm back. I made it safe and sound. Talk to you later. Bye. Alright, so I haven't recorded in a little while, but it's been just over three weeks coming up, uh, four weeks. Actually, Wait, what's it? Actually, it's been right four weeks. Uh, today is the... Hold on. I'm not keeping up with the dates anymore. Today is May 13th. I actually had my surgery April 14th. So, almost a month ago, four weeks, I had it done. Uh, ever since I had it done, it's been up in hell fighting my brain and uh, my stomach because especially with COVID quarantine being in the house I want a snack and stuff except my stomach is now the size of a banana I take a couple sips of water my stomach's full uh, 1.5 ounces of marsh of uh, not marshmallows that would be the wrong thing mashed potatoes I've done here and there like that totally fills me up 
problem is it fills me up so much I feel kind of bloated now I don't feel like I want to eat at all but uh, to rehash back in December January my weight was 348 and so before pre-op and everything I, uh, I I started trying to lose weight I started doing like some carnivore stuff and, and dropped like 10 pounds and then with the pre-op where I did liquid diet and everything I got down to 322 before the surgery went to Mexico had the surgery weigh in before my surgery 322 when I got home it was up to 329 they say don't wait don't wait for three weeks well I'm a moron I want, I want to see I like numbers so I'm like oh man 329 I have my stomach removed and then I gain weight well you're gonna hold on to water and your body's gonna bloat and it's gonna feel sick and so that's not good well, since then, my weight today was 301.4. I know I don't really need to throw the points in there, but for the last couple of days, it's been flexing back and forth, 302, 301, 302. I'm waiting to bust that 300 mark. That's my first big goal. And I also realized the last week, I haven't been out riding my bike or exercising like I'm supposed to. I've been out doing it here and there, but I'm supposed to be getting out and doing it every day. So. I'm about to do my walk today, but I figured I hadn't updated in a while, you know, and also this is a good way for me to look back on the videos and say, oh, here's how I looked, here's how I'm looking here, here's how I'm looking in the future, so anyways, um, yeah, like I said, almost four weeks out, you know, a lot of people by this time, they're already eating chicken salad, tuna fish, pureed foods, blah, blah, blah. I've tried, and my stomach just don't feel right. I don't, I don't feel like eating that, I'm, so I'm back to water and protein shakes and popsicles. Popsicles are my lifesaver to get the fluid in, but as each day goes by, it gets a little easier to get a little bit more fluid in. I can't I can't take a Gatorade like I used to and just chug it and be like, oh, got all the water I need all one time. Nope, it's a sip every, every so often. Sip some water, get it in there, get it full, let it get, let it get uh, passed on through, and then, and then you drink some more. So anyways, uh, that's, that's all I got for now, so, later.